Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's time to finish off Rainbow Ride starting with Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Yeah, it's a reference. <laughs> oh, and I made a mistake in the last part by, by saying that the cannon was useless, but it actually is used for this star. So, sorry about that. And uh, starting from this point, I'm going to put up a video of me activating the cannon in the corner of the screen or something so that you can see the route where the pink Babam Buddy is. And Because it kind of, you have to go take the other path to the red coin area if you want to activate the cannon. And you do indeed need to activate this cannon, so go ahead and do so if you haven't already. And remember, you can die after activating the cannon if you want to, or if you accidentally do so. You don't have to do this all in one route, because once you activate the cannon, it'll be saved, so yeah. Mm, we just gotta go up to the uh, ship, and then I'll be able to shoot over to the spot. If, if you didn't know, on the ship there is a cannon on the back side of it. I don't know if ship lingo, so I don't know which side would that be, like port, starboard, something like that. <laughs> I know there are different uh, coordination, I mean, uh, coordinates on the ship, I just don't know the difference between them. Oh, jeez! That could have ended my good run there. <laughs> Luckily, that fire does not really come into effect all that often. It's like, it's just there for the most part, and it's usually not in the way because you, you're usually past it by the time it actually comes to that route, so to speak. Oh geez, you know, like where you are flying on the magic carpet here. So, we are nearing the spots. And that one-up really is not worth it, <laughs> in all honesty. In fact, most one-ups in this game aren't worth it, because if you die, you aren't... I mean, you're gonna have to restart the level anyway, so it's like, what's the point to one-ups, um, except for like certain sections of which you have to, um, I mean, of which you have a, a way, like a checkpoint, like inside the volcano or something like that, but otherwise, no, lives are pretty pointless, unless you're running for like a life high score or something like that. Anyway, oh jeez, aha, in the cannon we go, there we go. Now, this one's called Somewhere Over the Rainbow, but you're actually not going over the rainbow, you're shooting through a rainbow. Don't aim for the exact center like there, because you'll probably miss the pole. So just line yourself up with the pole using the arrows, and then go up to somewhere like maybe there, fire away, end up at the pole, watch out for the Chucky of Death! That could be the end of you if it decides to grab you and throw you in the pits. Oh, jeez, what's wrong with me? <laughs> and there's your star. Woo! We're really close to the end of the game now. At 118 stars. It's time to do the 100 coin star. And oh boy, this is a tough one. Probably not harder than the red coin star in um, TikTok Clock. But it's, it's pretty hard, because you have to do a lot of tricky jumps, you gotta have some consistency, and you know what, I don't think there's any coins on this route with the carpet, so... Goodbye, carpet. <laughs> oh, it just respawned there anyway. Uh, I probably should go up to the blue coin segments, because if I fail that, I might as well just restart the whole run here because I'm not going to want to uh, go too far out of my way for coins. Oh, I should take care of that. Lakitu! Ah! Come on, Lakitu. Go into a nice position. There you go. Lakitu's got a lot of coins. Don't miss coins along the way either, or you will probably regret it. I'm going against the, the flow of our block treadmill here, just for the sake of control. Um, go here, and I thought we should take the bombs. And I should probably throw them into that gap, if at all possible, so the coin doesn't go flying off the edge! Oh jeez! Must conserve as many coins as I possibly can find. If you, can, if you wanna give me trouble, you blow up over here, please. There we go. No, 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 no! No, you don't. Alright, gotta do this in one good run. Yes! Oh, shoot! Missing five coins, dang it! Ah, well, 
it's not necessary to get all those blue coins. In fact, you can get uh, 100 coins without those blue coins, but that, they certainly make things a lot easier, and you'll see why once I get to the uh, second route coming up. Uh, but that's a little bit further down the road. So I'm just going to work on collecting the red coins from this area. I'm sure you remember how to collect all these from the red coin star. If not, here's a recap. <laughs> That one there, wall kick up there if you want to. Oh geez, I failed that double wall kick. <laughs> Just a little bit too fast for my fingers. Okay, maybe that's not true. I'm I'm pretty swift when it comes to stuff like that. I just made a mistake on the timing. And number eight. There you go. And this is the first time I'm gonna be using this uh a yellow platform to move back. It's kind of odd using it. <laughs> it's, I very rarely use it, or have to use that platform to get back. Anyway, now I'm going to take this route and beware that shy guy. Well, you got to kill the shy guy, but do it with a ground pound to be safe. Oh, where are you? Where are you? Seeing is half the battle when it comes to these things. Yeah. Okay. Don't fall off the edge. Thank you. Woo. Um. Is there any coins down there? I hmm. that's a that's a place that I haven't showed you before. So I guess I'm gonna go uh, flop down there to show you what's down there, just in case there are some coins that might be of assistance to me. But I don't think there are any coins. But I'm first gonna aim to get these. Oops, <sighs> that's fine. This is like um, a catcher area in case you fall off those things. It's a one up. That's useless to my 100 coin star goal here. And if you fall off, you just gotta go... Wait, did I hear a Goomba? I must be on the higher route. I must like be like reacting to my near position in the vertical sense. And get up here to reset your route, so to speak. And uh, the, the higher coins on the swing are by far harder to get than the lower ones because you have to time yourself with the swing to land back on it. But it's not that big of a deal. Uh, Let's see... Oh, these might be tricky. Or not. <laughs> Alright, keep yourself afloat by jumping on the donut blocks. You don't have to worry about them falling then. Uh, this must be the Goomba that heard me before. Alright, 89. I'm kind of regretting missing that blue coin now. <laughs> because I know there's like five... Five coins down um, that triangle route, the one with the tricky triangles. Because there's, yeah, there's five coins up on this, and that would make things so much easier. And I don't think there's any more coins down that side. Ah, so I'm gonna ride that down here. I need one coin, just one coin to end it all. I should say in the 100 coin stars. Duh, I wish you, I would have gotten that freaking blue coin. That was all I needed. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's any any more coins down these routes. Here we go. Gotta take the magic carpet up, and hopefully one of the coins will not. Oh, okay. It's a, it's a safe coin to get. All right, and there we go. 100 coin star! Yeah! Yes, I will save. And now, I am out of here! <laughs> that was awesome! Woo! Not expect to get that on my first try, actually. Alright, now that I'm at 119 stars, I have... A couple of, uh, well, I, got, I should say a bunch of stuff that I'd like to show you before going to the final area. So it's time for the stuff that I forgot to show you, lightning round! Starting now. Over here at Womp's Fortress, right at this corner, you're going to find a warp. And it is a two-way warp, so you can go back and forth between that spot. And it's kind of handy to speed things up, but I'm not sure if it's handy enough for speedruns. Over here at Shifting Sandland, you'll find that there's a warp by this palm tree which leads you over to the cannon. Now that's a rather handy one. 
I think I showed you this warp before at Lethal Lava Land, but just in case I didn't... Uh, um, where is the spot? There it is, must be right near the center. And that takes you over and under to where this Mr. Eye is. Over at Wet Dry World, there's another warp and... Great. <laughs> there's another warp right over there. And it takes you all the way down here and vice versa. So that could be used as a shortcut up top if you need to, but you can only do it when the water level is low, as you can tell right here. Because, you know, it's not working. Back here at Tall Tall Mountain, I heard that that box is the correct way to get the star. But I re the reason why I didn't notice that before was because I always use that to grab the coins, and yeah, so that switch actually does have a purpose. Over here at Tiny Huge Island, there's actually a couple of places in the game that you can do this. Uh, whenever you do something that triggers three butterflies to fly out like that, you can sometimes kill them and they'll give you a one-up. Other times, they will turn into some sort of incredibly homing cannonball that will eventually blow up and it will hurt you if it does touch you. I, I don't know all the locations of the game, I'm just saying wherever you see three butterflies like that, it seems like you're able to do that little trick. And well, maybe not, maybe not every uh, every spot because uh, I, I've tried this before, like outside the castle grounds where I can find a whole bunch of uh, butterflies, but I haven't been able to um, get them to cough up anything. Like, see, here's three butterflies here. <laughs> And... See, I'm not getting anything from these butterflies whatsoever, even though that I'm attacking them ruthlessly. So these these kinds of butterflies seem to be invincible. So you, I guess if you want to find more butterflies, you'll have to do that yourself, because I couldn't find information as to where more butterflies are that do this. So the only ones that I know of are at Tall Tall Mountain... Uh, not Tall Tall Mountain. At... Um, well, like, here, these three butterflies just popped out of nowhere, so maybe these will give me something? Maybe? Just because they might, and they're running away from me. No, come back, butterflies! No, will you actually give me something? Oh, yeah, I guess I guess it's only when three butterflies appear is that they'll be able to give you either a one-up or a cannonball. It seems to be random, or maybe one is a one-up and the rest are, um cannonballs or something like that. I don't know. I'm just explaining the butterfly theory that I have here. Over here at Snowman's Land, once I get myself unstuck here, <laughs> um, by this this tree where the sign is, is another warp, and it takes you over to the spot near the red coin, or I should say the last red coin in the uh, red coin route. I feel like I have to mention this as well. At Tall Tall Mountain, um, I was told that you could use Hoot the Owl to reach, uh, that mushroom, well, you can't see the star from here, that, there, that star. You could use Hoot the Owl to reach that, but Hoot is not in here, and he's also not in, um, Snowman's Land either. That's a DS exclusive feature, like, they added Hoot the Owl into certain trees, and they actually added a tree here, as you can tell, because there's no there's no tree in this version of the game. But uh, yeah, so Hoot in uh, Snowman's Land and Tall Tall Mountain are exclusive to the DS version only. Oh boy, you better appreciate this one, because I'm going really out of my way to show you this one. <laughs> there's another war point at the front of the Cloud Castle here. This, I guess, is there in case you uh, get stuck over here, because it's rather easy to get stuck after you lose uh, the red carpet there. Well, it's actually not red carpet, it's more like a red and gold carpet. You just go over there, and you'll appear on top of the red coin maze. And there's a- whoa, 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 there's a one-up over here. I wonder if I can re-trigger the war point. Ah, I can! That actually might be a faster way to get up here than to take the- um, well, maybe not. No, it would be a fa No, it, it still wouldn't matter because I wouldn't be able to use... I mean, I wouldn't be able to make it to the star way up at the top of the castle. 
So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna exit the course here, and that's all the extra secrets that I forgot to mention before. I think that's all of them. If, if not, I'm gonna show you them in the next part. But for now, I'm gonna end it off here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.